we have finally, finally got the trailer to Spider-Man No Way Home and it is absolutely insane. There is so much to break down in this trailer and you know what, I'm going to jump straight into it because there's a lot to talk about so let's just, let's just do this. So at the start of the trailer we see MJ and Peter sitting on a roof and it looks like MJ is reading a, no a newspaper. Now if you look closely the newspaper headline says Spider Minions and it shows Peter with a giant head controlling two puppets. Now this is very funny because that is actually um, imagery we usually see with Mysterio but obviously Mysterio has turned it on Peter and made him the villain. When we get a closer look it looks like one of the puppets is Ned so I'm guessing the other one is probably MJ it most likely is MJ but it could be someone else now when we see um, Ned and MJ and Peter walking together there's someone in the background and that is Flash now Flash is obviously usually bullying Peter but obviously now that he found out that Peter is the favorite superhero of course he's going to be on his side but one thing to note <laughs> is that Flash is now blonde which of course is the usual look for Flash, but it's very weird to see Flash blonde now. <laughs> but going back to the roof scene, I think this scene takes place straight after the school scene we see later, but they, they're both still in their, like, their... Peter's still wearing the same clothes we see in that scene, and it looks like Peter's resting his head on his books, and MJ is resting it on a backpack. So it most likely is straight after that scene, which makes sense because Peter says down there is chaos or something like that, and of course we see like, in the school they all just rush him. So the next scene we see is... Like, Actually, um, Spidey and MJ gliding through New York but this shows that it's taking place straight after the last one so as soon as we find out that Peter is Spider-Man I think it, the pick movie picks up straight from there as we can see J. Jonah on all the billboards telling everyone that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. The next thing we see is Peter in an interrogation room and he's handcuffed and I think this is the first place we see our first cameo. So in this scene, we see someone in a white shirt, black tie, slam something down right next to the next Peter. Could this potentially be Charlie Cox returning as Daredevil? Now it's been rumored for a while that Daredevil would be making an appearance. Of course, Peter's going to need a lawyer now that he's been exposed. So could this be the first sighting of Daredevil? Potentially, maybe. We'll see. So the next scene that stood out to me was we see Aunt May and Peter sitting in their home but the shot is a bit weird. The way we see it is both of them looking straight at the camera as if someone is walking in on them. Now because there's police lights all around them and stuff I think this could potentially be Happy. The reason I think this is Happy is because we see him later with these guns pointed at him so I think he tried to help them you know escape maybe they were being just pressed uh, or constantly so maybe happy tried to like just get him out of public light and got stopped so next after peter sees some halloween lights that look like doctor strange he goes to see him at the sanctum sanctorum now the sanctum sanctorum is covered in ice and snow my theory for why it is like this why it's just covered in ice and snow is potentially because maybe after the hulk broke through the ceiling and strange was snapped away no one was able to you know fix it up even though we still had wong maybe that is the reason maybe because there was a huge hole in the ceiling it just got frosted up but the thing that doesn't make sense to me is why didn't strange just get rid of it just use his powers to get rid of it he can use his powers to start a fire but instead of getting rid rid of all the ice and snow he's just gonna wrap up warm that was really weird to me. Of course, mentioning Wong, we do see him before telling um, Strange not to do the spell. He, uh, of course, packs up and he leaves. Now, I think this could be linked to Shang-Chi. I think, obviously, we see him in the trailer fighting Abomination. This could be where he's heading. I think if you look closely through the um, the portal, there is some, like, pyramid-looking thing. Or, I don't know. It, it, I think he is going to go fight in the tournament there next thing we see is the new suit so we finally they actually revealed the new suit in this trailer we see it for a short amount compared to the other suit of course we see the return of the iron spider but yeah this is the new suit that's been going around through merchandise and stuff but another thing that stands out here is that Peter looks like he's in some homeless shelter or something so I think this could potentially be feast now this is usually where we see Aunt May working is you know the it's the non-profit charity organization and um, I don't know I think in this scene Peter could be chasing someone here now the reason I think that is because if you look in the background someone actually points to a direction where Peter ends up running so I think Peter is supposed to be chasing someone here and I'm trying to th I'm wondering who anyway so Peter asks 
Doctor Strange to cast this spell for him to make everyone forget. And then when we see Strange doing the spell, it looks like he's used a piece of Peter's hair, which is, of course, he did that in Thor Ragnarok. But yeah, the way he uses that string, I think that could potentially be Peter's hair, so that the spell is unique to the person. Of course, the spell, something goes wrong with it because Peter keeps distracting Doctor Strange. And I think this is going to be how the timeline just gets messed up for these guys reason i think that is because we see these quick flashes one of them looks like a rainbow bridge kind of like when thor or loki go to asgard but there was also like like a streak it looked like a long streak like a timeline i think this is this is how everything gets messed up now another key scene well a few key scenes that we see with peter and strange it looks like dr strange is chasing peter through New York and then a few other places. Now, first we see Peter and Strange going through the mirror dimension, it looks like, and I think Strange is sending him there to stop him. And then we see Strange using these trains like to wrap around him. Like he multiplies a car and wraps it around Peter. And then of course, the big one is Strange knocks Peter's astral form out of his body, which of course we've seen in Doctor Strange and Endgame. But if you look close, Peter is actually holding some kind of box. It looks kind of weird. I, I, I I think Peter obviously must have stole that from the Sanctum Sanctorum maybe but for what reason I am not sure I don't know why Peter would even think of stealing from Doctor Strange okay now let's talk about the thing that everyone wants to talk about the thing that blew everyone's mind let's let's talk about the villains and there's actually more than you think so we'll talk about the obvious one the one that's actually shown we see Alfred Molina return as Doctor Octopus I can't believe we finally saw the return of Dr. Octopus and it's actually Alfred Molina. That is insane. So when we see uh, Doc Ock, he says, hello, Peter. And I don't know if this is actually to our Peter Parker. Of course, it looks like he says it to, you know, Tom Holland's Peter. But the way he says it, I don't know why. Part, part of me just thinks maybe this is his reunion with Tobey Maguire. <laughs> Maybe this is him seeing Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. Of course, that straight. it looks like straight after this scene, even though it happens before in the trailer, we see a goblin bomb and a cackle, which means the return of Willem Dafoe as the Green Goblin. Now, the reason I'm saying this is after is because when you see the goblin bomb, it looks like there's already been a bit of destruction. There's some smoke, there's some cars like damaged. So I think it looks like Doc Ock makes the first attack and then the goblin bomb blows up the bridge. There's also one villain that stands out. If you look in the trailer, there's a few scenes where we see lightning striking. It looks like lightning or electricity. This has to be Electro. Of course, I've talked about it in a video before. Electro was been, has been rumored for a while. I think they actually um, confirmed it a while ago, but this must be Electro. But the thing that stands out here is that the fact that the the lightning or electricity is yellow and it's not blue. The version of Jamie Foxx's Electro we saw before was the full lightning blue form. But if it's yellow here, this means that we could be seeing like a classic version of Electro. Now, there's three more villains I want to talk about. One is one that we see during one of these lightning attacks. Is it possible that we could see Sandman returning? Now, while watching this, I thought some, I kept thinking it was a lot of sand in there, but that was just me being hopeful until I saw the face in the sand. If you look for, there's, it's literally there for like a few frames, but like there looks like there's a face in the sand when the lightning strikes it. And I think this could definitely be, mean that Sandman is returning. Another one that is very interesting, there's a scene in the trailer where Peter gets scared by something behind him. Now, if you look closely, if you bri I'll brighten up as well, it looks like a monster lunges at him. At first, I thought this could be Venom. This could be Venom, but I don't think it is. I think it's another villain that we've seen before. I think this could potentially be the lizard. And this could be the lizard from The Amazing Spider-Man, which of course links to Andrew Garfield, who who's definitely in this film. This trailer has definitely confirmed these guys are coming and I can't wait. But yeah, what you guys tell me what you think. This is what I... This is honestly the only th person I think it could be is Lizard. I'm going to brighten it up. I'm going to leave it here for you guys. You guys tell me who you think this is. And last villain I want to talk about is, of course, Mysterio. He's the one who's ruined Peter's life. And 
I don't think, I think everyone knows at this point, he's most likely not dead. I was looking for the, in the trailer to see if I could actually spot him. I, th I honestly have a feeling he might be in one of these scenes, specifically the scene where we see Peter, Flash, Ned and MJ walking and the crowd are booing. I have a feeling that they're going to sneak Jake Gyllenhaal in there somewhere because the way they snuck him in, in um, Far From Home was crazy because no one even noticed it. So I think it'd be really fun if they can sneak him in there. But... From the villains I just picked picked out from this trailer, I just picked out six villains. Does this mean that we could see a Sinister Six in this film? I think it, Sinister Six is definitely coming, either in this film or the next, or if they do another Spider-Man film, a Sinister Six has to be the next thing. Of course, you've still got other villains. If they, if it's, if Sandman's not there, if Lizard's not there, we've still got Vulture. We've still got um, Scorpion. You know, we've got other villains. We saw Prowler. Maybe we've got Prowler. And speaking of Prowler, there's this, there's a little uh, clip where Peter's talking to a woman. I don't know why. But I think that this could be the first sign of Miles. May is that Miles' mom? Now, if she's, I think they wouldn't put her in the in the trailer for no reason. They wouldn't put some random Peter talking to some random person in the trailer for no reason. There's obviously a hint to something, and there's of like I said before. I think Miles is definitely coming. And this could be the first sign. And I can't wait for this movie. <laughs> Honestly, I, I'm this trailer was insane. Watching it at three o'clock in the morning and just losing my mind it was just oh it was amazing and oh i can't wait i cannot wait to watch this film but yeah that's all the points i've got for now uh hope you guys like this video if you want me to break down anything else let me know i'll check out i'm gonna keep an eye out for more trailers more news and uh if i can i'll update you guys anyways i hope you guys enjoy this video i'll see you guys next time bye everyone